Evans Dupuy, and I think that was Christoph Souza. It is indeed. Evans on the front, Souza behind Dupuy. Martinez just trying to hang on there with his former teammate Dubo just on his wheel, but they're going to have to go some to catch this man, Gregory Volle. I'm surprised actually that they let Gregory Volle go. He really was on top form at Napa. And the group behind him should have known better than to let this Frenchman go. He wants to do well here. Actually said that, uh, at the beginning of the season that he wanted, that he left the giant team because he was scared, he was tired of riding in the shadow of Runa Hoida and Lenny Christensen. Well, he's not riding in their shadow anymore. Gregory Volle, the former cyclocross rider, first started mountain biking back in 1996. And he's really started this season very well indeed. He's in first spot at the moment, and if he is good enough, he will take his first ever World Cup win. He's just going through Sheep Paddock Gate now. A strange name for an area of the race. But there's the group behind him, four or five riders. They're, they're not going to catch Volley now. I'm sure they're not going to catch him. The Frenchman's looking very happy indeed. Came 31st in the World Cup in 1997. He was 10th overall last year. They should have watched him go this year. And the man from Clement Ferrand is going to take his first ever diesel UCI World Cup victory. What a ride. And now there's a sprint for second spot, and it looks like Cadell Evans is going to take that from Jerome Ciotti in third and Christoph Souza in fourth. What a race. So much like a road race. Good riding from the Aussie in second, and even better by that man in first. So Volley sets two personal bests this year. Third at Napa, that was his best World Cup performance, but now first here in Australia. So Evans is second place, salvages Australian honour in a race dominated by the French. They place five of their riders in the top seven with an exhausted but elated Gregory Volley leading them home. I asked myself if I could even finish the race because I was hurting really badly. And on the last lap I said to myself, you can do it, and I did it. It's an incredible feeling. It's my first international victory and it's great. Every time I tried to make a move, everyone was sort of really keen to cover me, so I felt a little watched, and particularly being at home on the home course here, you know, everyone knows that I really want to win, so... So it's sort of a little extra pressure you've got to, got to take care of. So the rider who is not even sure of a place in the French Olympic team heads the men's standings. In the team standings, Volvo Cannondale rule the roost. We leave a fantastic weekend of racing at Fairfield with images of Gregory Volley and Mary Grigson celebrating success down on the farm. This is Mark by Siegel signing off from Sydney. See you in Madrid for round three of the Diesel UCI Mountain Bike World Cup.